Well, hello everyone. Um, welcome to the Togetherness Media this evening show. I'm Dr. Fujian Zane. I am um, a psychotherapist, a marriage and family therapist, an author, and the originator of the awareness integration theory and model, which is a new uh, psychological theory and an education theory. So um, happy Thanksgiving, everyone in the United States. And hopefully, although you might not necessarily um, have the Thanksgiving at the same date around the world, but wherever you are, I'm sure it's a good opportunity for all of us to um, give our gratitude and thanks to who we are and in all the different ways. Now, I know this Thanksgiving has been different um, everywhere around the world, especially in the US. Um, this year, we have really uh, have had to be together in a different way, in many ways. And yet the spirit of loving each other and having the opportunity to share our love and caring with each other has been similar. That's the beauty of it. Most people um, have had struggled um, this week with the get togethers and how many people to invite and how many would come versus how many people would not be joining or how many people are scared. I know in our, in our own family, we have had that conversation of some people were scared because they wanted to get together and some people were not feeling well. So they said, you know, we're not going to risk it. And um, we were going to, we actually did two sets of food. So uh, some people came in, we went outside and uh, had our turkey dinner, but then we made it like um, um, different types of uh, food and we sent it to um, our daughters and other people who were not going to be able to be joining us uh, because it's just going to be too many people and we were going to have it. But this concept of sitting there and knowing that some people are not going to be with us, it was just hard. And yet the, um, the way that we were together, I think, even when we're not together, it was beautiful. I remember our son-in-law came in and just looking at everybody else who was there and they couldn't be there, but they came to pick up the food and uh, their eyes were teary of just not being able to be together. But again, the joy of um, coming and picking up the food and for us, the joy of um, knowing that we were going to be with each other any way that it could be. Um, the conversation of who was going to be here and who was going to wear the mask and who was not going to wear the mask and whether they could continue to talk about politics or respect each other and uh, their connection with each other and, um, you know, join and come converse about any of those things and still um, laugh and uh, enjoy each other's company, although they might be debating about different side of the same coin. Um, we had to consider being together in many different ways, including online. We had people from different uh, part of the world, you know, coming online and just uh, enjoying our company together. Um, this brought a sense of relief for some people who needed to be with people, but could not. Yet it also brought a lot of sadness for many people who, um, did not have a family member and needed to be with someone, but they didn't, their family or friends were not around. Um, some of them were ill. Uh, they had to be in hospitals or they had to be stay home and they couldn't be with their loved ones. Um, especially when everybody was, was hanging out, you know, you feel like you're left out. Um, some did not have the means to create the holidays feast due to losing their job and this year just wasn't the right one for them. Some felt very depressed and isolated themselves. Some were ill, um, again in the hospital, some people actually had lost their family members and this was not a joyous time. They were in grief um, and they were grieving. Um, however, what remained the same was all the beautiful wishes that we got together with phone calls, with text messages and our social media that just poured in from people who, you know, created the experience of uh, wanting to let other people know that we're here. We were thinking of you. I had beautiful messages from my clients from many, many years ago. And just like I knew that they were thinking of me and I was thinking of them. You know, you go scroll down to all the people who are in your contact list and you're like, oh, I wish they were here. And uh, this is a good excuse for me to tell them how much 
I appreciate them. Thanksgiving is a day that it reminds us to appreciate who we are, um, who, what we have, the people who are around us, the beauty of people who are around us, and the gratitude allows us to connect with ourselves as well as others. And this connection creates that sense of belonging, which when we are, that we, we feel that sense of belonging, then we don't feel isolated. And that's the beauty of it. I know that with uh, the concept of social media, many of the research says that we actually are a nation of the whole world, actually, not just here, but we're the nation that uh, we feel lonely, we feel depressed. And um, guess what? Thanksgiving allows us to come together wherever we are and with whatever means they are to tell each other, we're not alone, we're all together. And, uh, I think that's the beauty. So let's just continue this whole Thanksgiving thing the whole weekend. What about that? And let's just continue and start from first with us. Um, maybe the gratitude of um, thanking our body, my hands and all the things they've done. I've been typing all day. So I really thank you for doing that while I'm writing the book. My eyes, my ears, my um, face, um, but for getting all the information through all these senses, you know, my heart, all of my organs, um, my feet, my back, you know, every part of my body that's helping me to um, go through the day in a beautiful way. Thinking uh, our mates, you know, my husband and our children and people who belong in, in a close um, family, our parents, if they're alive. And if even if they're not, we thank them for bringing us to this world and giving us all that they give, right? To our best friends and all of our friends who um, we chose as a family member and a dear one to us. And we give and receive from them, um, from just the earth, the nation, you know, all that it's giving us as the resources, all the animals that are our pets or animals who feed us or, uh, you know, create clothes for us. And um, just everyone around the world for the way they are, even the people who are working and creating this technology, you know, everyone who created uh, the electricity in this area, allowing us to have this electricity so that I can talk to you, um, having technology or whatever that anyone has created because we all need each other somehow. So I thank you for being in my life in many, many ways. And um, I wish you an amazing, amazing Thanksgiving. And I wish you a way of being with yourself and everyone that you truly enjoy your life, you know, an enjoyment of a life that you feel grateful for. And when you do that, when you are grateful, then please share your uh, gratitude with everyone. Give them a praise. Let them know that they're important for you and ask them, how important are you for them? It's nice to receive that, right? So ask for it. You deserve it. You deserve to hear it. And I think it's beautiful and they deserve to hear it from you. So enjoy your day, enjoy yourself, enjoy your connections. And um, I also thank Amir Lahiji for the opportunity of togetherness media all of the hosts that are not here and give us the opportunity actually to connect today. So I love you all. Please love yourself and everyone around you and um, just create an amazing life for yourself and everyone around you. Togetherness Media. Togethernessmedia.com.